If you love Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, trust me, you are going to love Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse even more. Hello and welcome. My name is Eni Fome. I got to see an early screening of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on the 1st of June, but I just got a chance to do the review now. I have been dying to speak about this movie and I'm finally doing it. I'm so excited. So, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a sequel of Academy Award winning Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I haven't seen all the Spider-Man movies, but I would say that this is the best Spider-Man movie out there. It is that good. So the story of Miles Morel continues in this movie. Miles reunites with Gwen and then he travels across the multiverse and then he meets this amazing spider people, like a lot of spider people. But when a new threat arises, Miles finds himself against all the spider people and he has to redefine what it means to be a superhero and save the people that he loved. So this movie actually did not disappoint. If you think that the animation in the other movie was spectacular, this one is even more. Words fail me right now on how to describe this movie. This movie is that good. Spider-Verse is really beautiful. We got to see a lot of new characters. The first one we saw a glimpse of what it's like to have different elements and different sketches of animations in one movie. And that's the reason why I like the first one. But this one is even better because in this multiverse, every Spider-Man has a different kind of look and feel to which relates to their own universe. We got to see more of Gwen and her life. We saw her universe, which I absolutely love because in her universe, I noticed that whatever emotion that the character is feeling at the time, the backdrop just changes to the mood of the character. And I thought that was really brilliant. Gwen is struggling with the loss of her best friend, Peter Parker, who she killed by a mistake. And her father is also hunting down Spider-Woman because he thinks Spider-Woman killed his daughter's best friend. And Miles is actually struggling because he is a teenager who is in school and he's not living up to the expectations of his parents. And he's struggling as a superhero, saving Brooklyn all the time. So. I found that really interesting and when he reunited with Gwen, they went across the Spider-Verse and that's when they met all these amazing spider people. My favorite spider person in this movie has to be Miguel Herrera. I just like him. Miguel is in charge and he's a leader of the Spider Society. He tries not to be funny but he's all serious and that's what makes it even more funny and I like the way his face was sketched. Like, in my opinion, it looks like an unfinished sketch so I thought that was really amazing. We also got to see Spider-Punk who was played by Daniel. I think that Spider-Man was awesome, but he is not my second favorite Spider-Person. I have Spider-Man India there. All his lines were really funny and I think he was really cool. So he's my second favorite Spider-Person. When I was going to see this movie, what I really wanted to see was a new villain. Because from the trailer, I could already see Spot was a funny character. So I was wondering, oh my God, is he a Spider-Person or what's up? Like I just want to know about that character. I was really, Really curious to see that character and he did not disappoint. I really like how this character's story was written. He was very laughable because he wanted to become the arch nemesis of Spider-Man by all means but everybody kept on calling him the villain of the week but then he proved to everybody including the viewers that he is so much more than just the villain of the week and it's really scary. And we got to see how he turned into this villain spot big ups to shemek moore and hey stainfield for once again doing a wonderful job and that thing i was looking forward to in this movie was the soundtracks for the previous movie we had sunflower by sueli and post malone which was one of my favorite songs from 2018 in this one Petra booming really did a great job i've listened to a couple of the songs and i heard them in the movie too and these soundtracks just blend in with all the emotions the characters are feeling and it was really nice. Honestly, I cannot wait for March 2024 to see Beyond the Spider-Verse because this movie actually ended with a cliffhanger and I am dying to see what is going to happen. So I'm going to rate this movie five stars. It was that great. The pacing was just right. It was two hours and 16 minutes and I did not feel it one bit. Even when it ended, I thought, okay, I want to see more. But thankfully, next year, which cannot come soon enough, we'll be seeing more of this story of Miles. If you have seen this movie, tell me who your favorite spider person is. 
or who your favorite character is in general from this movie so don't forget to like this video share with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more movie content until next time bye